Welcome to today's chair practice. So take a second, find your favorite yoga chair, something without arms so that you can move around freely. And then find your seat. Hips should feel supported and feet are flat on the floor to begin. And we'll just start with a little breath awareness. So bring one hand to your belly and the other hand to your chest. You can close your eyes here and just take a couple of breaths. Bring your attention into your body here. Remind yourself that this, this yoga practice is really about paying attention to what's happening now. So if you can, let your list of things to accomplish just take care of themselves for a little bit. See if you can just focus your mind in your body for this little block of time. All right, now keep breathing. Let your arms come down to your sides. We're gonna start small with the shoulders. So when you inhale, just squeeze those shoulders towards your ears. And then on your exhale, roll your shoulders back and down, crunching all the way. Let's do it again, lifting those shoulders. And then rolling back and down. Again, just paying attention. You don't have to fix anything there here. It's really about noticing how your body feels, maybe noticing where you feel the crunching the most. All right, now let your shoulders relax. Let your arms hang down by your sides. Go ahead and point your thumbs towards your legs here. This is going to be our starting spot. On your inhale, you're going to rotate those thumbs forward, out to the sides and back, squeezing your shoulder blades together as you go. And then when you exhale, return to that starting spot. Really pull your belly button in as you exhale. So on your inhale, feel the space across your chest, maybe all the way out through your fingertips. On your exhale, return to the starting spot, pulling that belly button in. Do this a couple more times. You go at the speed of your breathing. Just again, connecting, paying attention to how your body feels right here. All right, after your next exhale, just let those arms relax. Maybe shake your hands out. You can wiggle those fingers a little bit. Now I'm gonna have you bring your hands to your legs. Start with your hands out by your knees. We're gonna do really a movement of the spine. So when you inhale, you're pulling your shoulder blades together, lifting through your chest, pu push your belly out, bringing those hands towards your hips. And then when you exhale, you're gonna round your back, pushing your hands towards your knees, pulling that belly button in. I'm gonna give you the side view. So when you inhale, squeezing those shoulder blades together, lifting through your chest. On your exhale, rounding your spine, pulling that belly button in. Do this a couple more times. <sighs> Maybe one more. Feeling that movement with your breath. And then sit up tall. Go ahead and roll your shoulders again. And maybe just notice any movement through those shoulders, any change. Maybe notice that circulation down through your fingertips. All right, we're going to keep the focus on the upper body for another round. This time you're going to bring your hands to your belly. Pulling that belly button in. When you inhale, you're going to open your hands wide away from each other. Try and keep your elbows in tight so you can squeeze those shoulder blades back and down. And then when you exhale, return to the starting spot, hands to your belly. So on your inhale, pull in those shoulder blades back and down, elbows stay tight. Exhale, returning. Do this a couple more times. Just finding the movement that works for you. Maybe one more. All right, now move those hands up to your opposite shoulders, just like you're giving yourself a little hug. All right, still focusing on your shoulder blades. This time when you inhale, arms are gonna go wide. Keep your elbows bent, opening across your chest. And then when you exhale, give yourself a little hug. Find that stretch between your shoulder blades. You can even tuck your chin here. So inhale, arms go wide, pushing your chest forward, lifting through your chin. Exhale, returning to the starting spot. So there's lots of little adjustments you can do, but we're kind of aiming for that spot across the tops of your shoulder blades, your upper back. If you can, one more time, just paying attention to your body here. All right, now sit up tall. We're gonna do one more arm focused movement. 
This time your hands are going to be at the top of your head. Tuck your chin here and let your elbows come toward each other. We're really focusing on this stretch on the back of your neck. Now when you inhale, let your arms come to your sides. Lift through your chest. You can even lift your chin as you go. And then when you exhale, return to the starting spot. Hands to the top of your head. Tuck your chin. Now repeat this movement. Inhale, reaching back, lifting through your chest, lifting through your chin. Exhale, tuck your chin. I can't talk as fast as I want to move today. So you pay attention to your body here. If it feels good, maybe one more time. And then let your arms relax. Maybe roll those shoulders again. Maybe notice if they're still a little crunchy. Whatever you feel, just pay attention. All right. Now we're going to focus on the hips. So this next one is kind of small. If you want, you can add your hands. So at the same time, when you inhale, you're going to clench your butt cheeks tight. You can curl your hands into fists. And then when you exhale, relax your glutes. Go ahead and spread your fingers wide. So if adding the hands is one too many things to think about, just notice. Inhale, clenching. Exhale, relaxing. Now I'm going to have you clench one more time. Keep clenching. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. See if you can just relax the right side, that right butt cheek. Spread your right fingers wide. Now you're going to clench everything. And then just relax the left side, left butt cheek, left hand. Keep breathing. Now clench everything. And then slowly, with control, relax everything. Maybe wiggle around in your chair a little bit. Feel that little bit of action through your glutes. Maybe feel that circulation through your fingertips. All right. So now we're going to focus on the legs. We're kind of working our way down. I want you to start just stretching your right leg out in front of you. Your heel gets to stay on the floor. We're going to start small. Just point your toes and then flex your foot, pushing out through your heel. Go back and forth a couple of times, kind of waking up those muscles across your foot, your ankles, your shin. Going back and forth, just breathe easy. Now the next time you're flexing your foot, keep flexing your foot. Keep that heel on the floor. You're just going to rotate your toes and your knee out to the side. We're really focusing on the hip, so feel that rotation at your hip. And then rotate your toes and your knee in toward the center. If you feel it at your ankle or your knee, you're going too far. We're aiming for the hip. So again, rotating out to the side just that little bit. And then coming in just that little bit. Go back and forth a few times. Make sure you're breathing easy. All right, then, then you're going to bring your knees and or your knee and your toes toward the ceiling. And then all you're going to do is lift that right foot away from the floor. Think about pressing out through your heel. Feel your quad working. And then lower your heel to the floor. You can go faster than me. But if it helps, think about exhaling, lifting your leg, pulling your belly button in. Inhale, lowering down. Do this a couple more times. Maybe one more lift. Now, if you can, keep your leg up. Keep breathing. Feel the strength. All you're going to do is point your right toes and then flex your right foot. Again, you can go faster than me. I'm going to invite you to do one more point and flex. And then you get to set that right foot flat onto the floor and feel all of this action here. Your quad, your hip flexor, everybody's awake now. So now that we woke all these muscles up, got them a little strong, got a little circulation, we're going to stretch them out. So all you're going to do is scoot over to the right side of your chair. You want your left hip to be stable, your left foot to be flat on the floor. Hold the seat of your chair with your left hand and just step your right foot back someplace that feels good. Even if your foot's way up here, that's okay. We just want to get a little bit more space in that right hip flexor. So find a place where you feel stable and then we're going to move this right arm. So when you inhale, think about reaching your right arm out in front of you and up toward the ceiling. And then when you exhale, bring that arm to the, down that same path, down alongside your body. So inhale, reaching forward and up. Exhale, coming back down. If you're feeling coordinated today, 
as you lift your arm, you can turn your chin toward your armpit. And then when you bring your arm down, turn your chin the opposite direction, getting that little stretch along the side of your neck. If it feels good, do this a few more times. Again, you can go faster or slower than me. I'm going to do one more. The next time that right arm is down, you can reach back, grab your right leg, pull everything forward, scooch back toward the center of your chair, and feel the difference from one side to the other. Again, just paying attention to how your body feels right here. Before we do all that extravaganza on the other side, I want you to reset your spine, just an even forward bend. So hands toward your knees, round your back, pull your belly button in. See if you can feel that even stretch along your spine. And then sit up tall. Now we're gonna focus on this left leg. So remember, we're just starting. Stretch that left leg out in front of you. Heel stays on the floor. Small movement. Point your toes and then flex your foot. Go back and forth a few times. Point and flex. Again like that. Just feel that action through your foot, your ankle. Waking up those muscles of your shin and your calves. Now the next time you're flexing your foot, you're gonna keep flexing, just pushing out through that heel. You're gonna rotate your toes and your knee out to the side, and then rotate your toes and your knee in toward the center. Remind yourself, we're aiming for the hip. So if you feel it at your knee, if you feel it at your ankle, you're doing it too much. Think about getting that little rotation at your hip, out, and that little internal rotation. I'm gonna do it one more time, just waking stuff up. And then bring your toes and your knee so that they're pointing toward the ceiling. Here's the hard work. You can hold the seat of your chair if you like. When you exhale, think about lifting that left leg. When you inhale, set your heel to the floor. Now, I don't know about you, but it's harder for me on this side. So adapt as you need, but just think about that strength. We're working this quadricep on the left side and then setting the heel down. If you can, two more. Now we're gonna do a little bit of work. So if you can, keep your leg up, keep pulling your belly button in. All you're gonna do is point your toes and then flex that left foot. Do this a couple more times. Notice your body. It probably is trying to get out of this work. Notice where you feel it, paying attention. And then you get to set your foot to the floor and feel all that left side awake now. <laughs> All right, now scoot over to the left side of your chair. You can hold the seat of your chair with your right hand, right foot is flat on the floor, and just step that left leg back wherever it feels sturdy, wherever you feel stable, because your legs are gonna stay in this position. We're gonna move the left arm. Remember, you're reaching your left arm out in front of you and up toward the ceiling on your inhale. When you exhale, bring that arm back down. If you're feeling coordinated, as you raise your arm, turn your chin toward your armpit. When you bring that arm down, you can turn your chin the opposite direction. Keep paying attention to your body. Don't check out. So notice if your body starts to get tired, if things start to cramp, adjust. The goal here is to pay attention, to move on purpose. If you can, one more time with that left arm. And then reach back, grab your leg, bring it forward, scoot back toward the center of your chair, adjusting everything. Hands on your legs, just round your spine, reaching your hands out towards your knees. You can even squeeze your shoulders towards your ears here. And then sit up nice and tall. All right, we did those eight symmetrical movements. So one leg and then the other. We're gonna do a little symmetrical movement just to kind of balance everything out, let your brain relax a little bit. So keeping your knees bent, bring your feet close together, bring your knees together. We're gonna to do two things at the same time. <laughs> so hands are gonna be on the outsides of your legs. You're gonna open your knees wide, but also give yourself some resistance. Gently press with your hands. Try and let your legs win though. Bring your hands to the insides of your legs, squeezing your knees together at the same time, pressing through your hands, just giving yourself that little bit of resistance. So hands on the outsides of your legs, opening your knees wide. Hands on the insides of your knees, squeezing those knees together. 
if it feels okay, do this a couple more times. Again, feeling it in your hips, maybe feeling those inside muscles and the outside muscles of your legs, that's good. All right, the next time your knees are together, we're gonna open those feet wide. Your knees should be over your feet, so don't let your knees come toward each other here. We're gonna do a deeper forward fold. So if you can, bring your arms down the insides of your legs here. Now you don't have to go very far. Maybe you're just leaning forward a little bit so you feel that little bit of stretch on the inside muscles of your legs. We're gonna do a little something for the shoulders here. So what I want you to do is start by reaching your right arm out to the side so your arm is parallel to the floor. This may be enough, you may already feel your back. Keep your belly button pulling, in. spine stays tall. And then you're just gonna rotate your chest to the right doesn't matter where your hand goes it's mattering about your chest we're trying to find that rotation through your chest and then bring your arm it can come all the way back to your leg or it can come just parallel to the floor you choose we're going to do that same side so reaching twisting your chest to the right try and think about your chest moving more than your right arm On your next exhale, I want you to bring both hands to the insides of your legs, round your spine, pull that belly button in, and then flatten your back. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So start with that left arm out parallel to the floor. If you can, on your inhale, you're rotating your chest to the left. It doesn't matter how high your arm goes. On your exhale, just bring that arm parallel or you can bring your arm all the way to your leg. You choose. So take a few breaths. Do a couple of little twists here. Notice your body. All right, on your next exhale, both hands to the insides of your legs, round your back. You can even walk your hands further down your legs if you like. Take a breath or two here. Find that even stretch along your back, your spine. And then slowly sit all the way up. Take your time. If you come up to sitting and the room is spinning wildly, give yourself a minute. All right. Now we're gonna stay seated in the chair. I got one more movement for those hips. So let's start with the right leg. If you like, you can cross your right ankle in front of your left ankle. Maybe you stay here. That could be enough. If you want, if it feels okay, you can bring that right foot to your opposite knee. You get to get there however you like. The idea is that your legs stay in this position. We're aiming for this right hip, a little stretch of that right hip. Now, spine stays tall. When you exhale, you're just gonna lean forward a little bit. Feel that stretch. There's lots of options, so wherever you feel it, that's okay, but just pay attention. I'm gonna rotate just a little bit so you get kind of the side view. Exhale, just leaning forward. Try and lean with your chest, not your chin. Inhale, sit up tall. Maybe two more. Okay, one more time, leaning forward and then sitting up. And then bring both hands to the outside of your right knee. Think about pulling that right knee towards your opposite shoulder. Wherever it goes, that's fine. We're aiming for stretching the outside of that right hip. So both hips, both butt cheeks are pressing into your chair. If you're feeling frisky, you can turn your chest to the right. You could even reach that right hand behind you a little bit. Maybe even turn your chin to the right, looking out of the right corners of your eyes. All right, we're not gonna stay too long. Come back, set both feet onto the floor. Adjust as you need, hands on your knees. Just pull your belly button in, rounding your back, kind of resetting your spine. And then sit up tall. All right, now the left leg. Again, take your time. Again, it's about paying attention. So start with your left ankle crossed over your right ankle first, then decide. Maybe bring that left ankle to your right knee. Find a spot where your hips, your knees are okay. And then we're just gonna do that little tip forward. So when you exhale, spine stays tall, just lean in forward that little bit. Inhale, sit up tall. If you can, do this a couple more times. Just that little lean forward and then come back up. Remind yourself, lead with your chest, not your chin. 
I'm going to do one more. So once you're sitting up tall again, bring both hands to the outside of that left knee. Think about pulling your left knee toward your opposite shoulder. It doesn't matter how far it goes. If it's pressing into your belly, that's okay. We're waking up stuff, encouraging that digestion to go. Think about that. Think about both hips pressing into the floor. And then pay attention. See if you want to rotate your chest to the left. Maybe you want to reach that left arm back, turning your chin to the left, looking out of the left corners of your eyes. You find the space that works for your body, paying attention. Now you're gonna untwist, come all the way forward, stretch both legs out in front of you. Both feet are on the floor. And then I want you to do a forward fold. You can do as deeply as you like. You can just hands to your knees, rounding your back, or you can walk your hands all the way to your feet. We just want to reset the spine, kind of finding that space symmetrically along both sides of your spine. And then taking your time, slowly, slowly, sit all the way up. Now, as you come up into that seated position, notice your body. Let's return to our little breath awareness. So one hand to your belly, the other hand to your chest. And really close your eyes just so you can check in. Notice the quality of your breathing. Maybe notice your heart rate. Checking in with your body just to notice the effect of the work that you've done. Notice where you feel the stretch, the strengthening. Take a moment just to appreciate, just to acknowledge your effort. Recognizing what worked for you in today's practice so that you could do it again, even without the video, whenever you need it. Maybe give yourself a little pat on the back. And I'm just going to say, thank you so much for playing. Namaste.